All right, so the main event of the show, MJF John Moxley for the AEW title. And there were a lot of things they could have done in this match. They had, obviously, what they did for the finish, which was Regal sliding him the knucks because MJF had promised he would not use the diamond ring. You could have had uh, Stokely's crew helping MJF, which I certainly would not have liked based on the way they did the storyline. Or no. you could have done the one I wanted, which is MJF goes full-fledged top babyface. And... Uh, my argument is that if it doesn't work, he can always go back. But the people want it. It's organic. He came back, and it just happened. And to me, when something like that happens, you go with it. And if it, go I agree. If it goes wrong, Regal can slide him the knucks in two months, in four months, in six months. I watched this match, dude. This guy came out, and he was so over as a baby face. Yep. Moxie came out, and he and Moxie didn't even do anything to get booed. He just came out, and he was booed because he was facing MJF. So Moxley just went full heel. He's flipping off the crowd. He's trash-talking the crowd. He's working total heel on this guy. He's beating him up. Max is doing babyface comebacks. I'm watching this going, all right, here we go. We got something here. And then at the end, in fact, he has the opportunity after a ref, bu a ref bump to use the ring. But Regal comes out. And the funny thing is, the ref takes a bump, and this is what you do not want in wrestling. Ref takes a bump. And then you had a freaking second bump. Not that. Everybody stood up, and they all just looked to the back immediately. Yep. And uh, I war I've, been, I've been warning about that. One and this happened and twice. This goes, this, goes with both, this, goes, this goes with both companies. Yes. Both companies... Are, are so reliant on that. And once once you have the point in the match where people are looking to the back, it means that they think the result is going to be bullshit. And when they think the result is going to be bullshit, it makes the results of matches, you know, a lot less meaningful, even to the point of being meaningless. Well, he uh, so the ref took a bump. He's got the ring. And Regal comes out. He tells him, do not use that ring. And so MGF flips him off, throws the re uh, the ring down. Uh, he ends up getting distracted and locked in the uh, the rear naked choke by Moxley. He fights out. He gets put in the choke again. Paul Turner's in there. Now he takes a bump. Uh, Moxley puts the bulldog choke on MGF. MGF taps, but there's no referee. Regal tells Moxley, get the ref. Wake him up. Get the ref. So as Moxley goes to wake up the ref, he slides the brass knuckles to MJF. MJF ends up punching out John Moxley. He covers him. He gets the pin. And while I did not, this is not the finish that I wanted, but for what they did, it was very well done. I just think it that was extremely the timing and the the regal telling that and all that. That's really good stuff. Yes, I mean, everything that, they that did aspect, was that good. That aspect of what they did was was timed really good. It was it was. You know, very old school professional way to do that. That would have been done in like, you know, the mid south or the mid Atlantic territory for a cheating heel win. The thing is interesting is because, you know, um, I mean, is Max still going to get cheered? Because the that's thing with the him thing. Is, that's the thing. The he, th he, if the he's going to get that, cheered, you should have gone babyface with the guy. Everybody wants him to be the devil, and every you know the the point is is that he's being cheered for being a heel, so he won the world championship, which they all wanted, being a heel and cheating, which they want him to be. They don't want they don't want him to be a typical babyface at all. Well, he doesn't have to be so, a typical babyface, but this was a finish to put him on the heel side of the roster facing baby faces. And when you have a guy like this who is cheered, all you're going to do is neuter your baby faces by having them go against a guy who's going to be more over and get them those baby faces boot. Like Moxie now, what is he he may as well just turn heel. He was an awesome heel in this match, but I mean, he ended up a heel in this match as a result of them wanting to cheer MJF. So to me it's like have him be a babyface. He doesn't have to go out there and kiss babies. He can still be the same MJF. He, in fact, he was. He was doing those promos, and he'd he'd throw a snide comment at the fans, and they they'd cheer because he insulted him or whatever. But he was clearly a babyface, 
and he was facing, you know, Stokely's crew, which was heels. He's beaten up heels. He's not out there having to, you know, kiss anybody's ass or anything, but he was out there as a babyface beating up heels as MJF. I don't know. Whatever. We'll see where they go. He's going to get cheered. Um, I mean, hey, look, look, we got to see where they go. And the other, the other thing too. So, so the Blackpool Combat Club. I mean, what happens there? Are they a unit? Are they split up? Who knows? Um, Without Regal, are they still Blackpool? He was the Blackpool well, I mean, in Blackpool Combat Club. Do you keep the name? Right. Do you have to change the name now? Yeah. What happens to Wheeler Yuta? You know. Yeah. Um, do they all just go their separate ways? And maybe they do. You know, Danielson and Claudia were going at each, going at each other. Um, but then Yuta, you know, it's then Yuta's the, the loser in that one. Um, because without them, uh, you know, he doesn't have an identity. But he wasn't, you know, even then he wasn't like, it wasn't like he's a big star that they're squandering or anything. He's, he's a guy. But he was a guy who was greatly helped by being part of that group. Um, and you just go with... Um, you know, our, our Max and Regal, this year's version of Omega and Callus, you know, where, you know, I mean, it's like Omega was a heel and drew very well for them as a heel. But, you know, people liked him, too, you know, but it, 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 it's it's kind of wait to see. But he did work with, 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 with all the baby faces and, you know, it was the whole thing to build up, you know, and, that, and the reason for it was to make Adam Page which is, you know, interesting to see what happens with, uh, I mean, what challenges does he have? I mean, that's the Moxley, thing. It was like, that's a- that was to make Hangman, but this is about making MJF. MJF should not be in this role to make somebody else. He should be in the role to be the person that. that was just made. Well, with, e- with Ethan Page, uh, unless they put Ricky Starks over, and I guess they could put Ricky Starks over Wednesday, now that if, if Max is going to be a heel. Um, you know, and Mick, Ricky Starks, you know, I mean, it'd be a good, it's a good position for Ricky Starks to be in a, in a championship match. You know, no one expects him to win it, but you know, like again, um, I mean, we've got, we've got uh, Jungle Boy out there. I mean, we, we've got that. Le- we, there's a lot of level of guys, you know, Takeshita, uh, Bandito. There's a lot of guys that you can put in television matches against him. That would be really good television matches, but from pay per view standpoint, um, you know, you got Moxley and and if he has gets momentum back, Adam Page, I suppose, but he's going to need a bunch of wins because you know he left with you know, um, but he's he's got a, a story for a comeback. Um, but the thing is, his story for a comeback was more based on uh, Moxley than anyone else. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what you know where they where they go. Um, I mean, it's, it's a lot of different ways. I don't see like usually when the pay per view's over, I kind of you know can go. Oh, I know the next championship match, and um, you know, I mean, like I, I mean, we know it's going to be Ethan Page or, or Starks, but the next big one, and uh, I don't know that we've got the obvious big one. Um, you, you can always do. You know, you can always do Brian Danielson and have a great match. Um, you can always heat him up. Um, you know, I mean, there's, there's the, the bodies are there. I mean, so it's, it's not like it's hopeless or there's no one there. But, but having said that, like I said, with AEW, usually when the pay per view is over, I, I know the next pay per view main event. Even if I don't know it, I know it. And this one, I don't know it. Of course, we don't have to worry about it. You know, it's not until March, so it's not like I need to know in November for a show in March. But uh, and they got plenty of time to heat people up. So, so there's that. The WWE legendary joke book. Why do WWE superstars fingers hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Why were Gene Erkerlund's Pants always so angry. Erkerland? <laughs> Where does Beth Phoenix shop online? Amazon? The Glamazon! Oh, yeah. Yep. No. No. I mean, no. <laughs> no, that is the answer. Glamazon. That's what I said! <laughs> what? You said Gramazon. No, I said Glamazon! <laughs> oh, there should be a Gramazon. <laughs> yeah, Gramazon, actually. You get, like, like, puppy you get it to you real slow. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions 
of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.